Fred Dibner, the Bolton steeplejack, is a man of Victorian tastes, with two passions, chimneys and steam engines. The chimneys, he expects, will one day end his life. His steam engine has already come near to wrecking it. This thing nearly caused me sort of divorce proceedings and much upset, you know, uh, spend more money on this than the wife and the kids and no holidays. <laughs> of people who I've come to know over the years with the chimneys say, you spend too much time playing with your steam engine, you say. <laughs> um, you should come and get our job done. Uh, which, in some ways, is very true. Um, I have neglected my business and well, everything, really, for the sake of this ten ton of iron. You might have thought that by now Fred had learned his lesson about steam engines. He hadn't. Not by any means. Now that this thing's almost finished, you know, um, I keep having funny thoughts about buying another one, you know, but next time, you know, it'll have to have springs and rubber tyres. <laughs> Because uh, when you ride along on this thing, it knocks your teeth out if you go over a manhole cover. Um, a tractor compared with this thing here, um, you'd just have a little axle under here and two wheels on. And, like, the thing romps along with half the bloody pain. No, I think I could afford to buy a wreck. Any that's painted and all done up beautiful, you know, they want 15,000 bloody pounds for, which I can't afford. But I could do my best with one like this one well when I bought it. <laughs> this took 14 years of hard labour. And it weren't bloody hard as well, you know, like... In that firebox, there's 232 holes that I drilled with a bloody ratchet drill. Sort of, I had, like, a bottle of Guinness outside and sort of, boom, have another drink and, oh, kills the pain working this bloody drill. You know, everything appertaining to these things has got to be so old that everybody's thrown it away. And, like, I've now got a grand collection of riveting equipment and uh, machines that will do things that nobody else has. And so, you know, the next one will be a lot easier, you know. It'll, it'll only take maybe four years, you know, at the same sort of rate of knots that it took to do this thing. Well, like, my wife wants me to buy one so that it keeps me out of the pub. <laughs> So she'll have me here in the backyard, locked up in the shed. Well, the steamroller we've got now travels, what, roughly four miles an hour. Um, and travel along the road at four miles an hour takes an awful long time, and it's hard work. Whereas a traction engine goes about 15 miles an hour. And that would be a lot quicker, and we'd be able to go to the rallies in our old age and keep on going. We won't pop off on the way. <laughs> and so, with Alison persuaded of the advantages of a traction engine over their steamroller, Fred now confessed that his aspirations were based on firmer ground than might have been supposed. I know um, where there is an Aveling tractor, what eventually could have rubber tyres on them. It's got springs, you know, and you don't bite the end off your tongue when you go over a manhole cover. And I've done some negotiating with the man, but, you know, like, a thousand pound it were mine, and then it went up to 1,500 pounds, and then one day when I were drunk, I offered him 2,000 pounds, and when I was sober, I was bloody sorry about it. Um, I know that... You know, he'll never do no with it, you know, and, and I could make it into a very beautiful engine. Oh, have, you, have you, you know, give it any thoughts 
right, you know, uh, yeah. one of yeah. my last offer. Hmm? Well, I thought about it a bit, Fred. Um, you know, it's difficult talking about the money side with somebody you know. Yeah, yeah, it we is. We've had a this bit, trouble yeah, before, yeah. back in August, mm. when we've discussed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, like 2,000 quid, you know, um, sort of, uh, you know, am I getting any nearer? Yeah, right? yeah, Fred. I, I, well, I was thinking, thinking around two and a half myself. Oh, I'll give you two thousand and three for it. Well, we're, coming, we're getting we're getting rather nearer now, aren't we? Uh, we're getting rather nearer. Yeah, I think you know. I think we could really begin to think around about that sort of figure. Mm, uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, you know. Oh, okay. And the more I look at it, you see, and sort of I want it, and then I keep thinking about all the effort that's going to be involved in making it go. You know, I'll be an old fella, I think, by the time I've done that up. No, there's, there's a lot of work's got to be done to it. Oh, it's yeah, take yeah. a year or two to get yeah, that right, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got, you know, all the missing bits, like? You know, Most of them, Fred. You know, come and have a look. Oh, around the back, yeah? Right. Go on. Mm. A differential. Uh, they're not, these aren't so bad, are they? They're not as... Uh, not bad. You have a bit of slop on. Yeah. You'd expect that, wouldn't you? Not as much as some, no, though. No, no. <laughs> the crankshaft's uh, over there. Yeah. A bit behind mm. that other crankshaft. Mm. But, um, uh, got balance weights on as well, haven't oh, they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They run pretty fast, Which, uh, those little engines. Yeah. There's a box of goodies here, Fred, as well. Mm. Mm. Non ferrous. Yeah. Mm. Clacks and things I've picked yeah. up in various mm. parts of the country. That's mm. un unmachined. Yeah. It's got mm. casting. Yeah, on you know, that the... other side over there. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. there's it's wrong. Right. Mm. And then up against the wall, Fred, there's the, yeah, the eccentric rods and eccentric. Yeah. Mm. All the bits and pieces lying up there. Nice brass, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. Well, it's come from a county council. They looked mm. after it pretty well. Yeah, you know, it was working until they pulled it out for a border inspection about 15 years ago, and yeah. never bothered doing any work on it after that. Hmm. Well, I think I'll have it then. You know, uh, give us a week or two to sort the money out. You know.